morning. Welcome to the key horses for Gorton Park and also for the last race day at Golden Gate Fields. At Gorton Park, race two. Novo Sol is switching jockeys to Dreden Van Dyke. This is a combination of Van Dyke and Safi Jobs are winning frequently in the last days at Gorton Park. I believe Novo Sol, who has victories on good turf at his native Brazil. So I believe this horse is going to run very well on the good course today at Gorstrom Park. So Novo Sol is a key horse at Gorstrom Park Race 2. You have the picks here for the rest of the exotics and multi-race wagers. In Race 3, use these two horses, Midnight Council and Sick is Heart. See the case of Sick is Heart? It was running on a uh, turf. The GSR was relatively low. Uh, he's a good magic, now goes to synthetic, and the GSR is going up. He's dropping class, and he's going to run very well today. Sick is hard, is the topic of the system. A midnight council, the number four, a horse that is running irregularly in the last time outs. But check, the only time that he ran uh, on synthetic, he ran second. So this horse of Fernando Abreu with Panichi, you need to use him. He's a key horse. So one and four, four and one in race three. Let's talk about race four. Golden Sombrero won that uh, no contest race like two weeks ago at Gorstrom Park. He's one of the fastest horse of the, of the race. Top GSR, top win percentage, very high win percentage, top pick. He's the single for the early pick five and early pick four. Uh, in race number five, In race number five, yes, uh, Muntalik, a horse that you need to use. Ah, oh, this is scratch. It's a scratch. No, this is it's not race five. I'm, I'm really sorry about this. It's race number seven, race seven. Muntalik, the number one, 40% to win. First pick of Equanage, a horse that finished second last time out. Edwin Gonzalez for Safi Joseph Jr. Third time in a row riding this horse. I believe Edwin Gonzalez is going to be in the middle of the pack this time, and we'll try to close at the end. This is our front. He will decide the race. You Maybe you need to spread here, but also also use this shoe daddy. He's uh, 12 to one in the morning line, but check the GSR with the number nine, the number one, and the number three shoe daddy is one of the top three. The number nine, by the way, is my uh, first pick of the race, 1394. He's not working too well, but has a good GSR. But I believe Muntalik and Shu Daddy that finished six in his last time out, but before he was running at Tampa this distance and he was running very well. So it's dangerous, this uh, Shu Daddy today. So then one and three are horses that you need to consider, maybe the eight. Uh, the number nine is you are spreading, but the one and the three needs to be your tickets. In race eight, you need to take a risk. Uh, the number five has a good debut or Practically dark, he's taking a rest of around six weeks. He's coming back with Dreden Van Dyke. He will chase the speed of the number five. This horse has a very uh, GS, uh, uh, very GSR genetics uh, pedigree. So I believe practically dark is it's time to win this race. So it's, it's a single for me. If you need to take a risk, five horses running, the, the speed of the five, the, the seven chasing, Let's let's believe that practically Dark is going to run down the number five. In race number 10, it's a tough race. See the trumpets, the two victories in a row on synthetic. And the GSR is dropping 40 points. It's very dramatic, the drop. I have her has a four pick. It's the second pick of the system. But the genetics is saying that she's not going to deliver this race. The number five is a strong contender here, but this is a low horse. I think deflection is a horse that you need to use coming from uh, a tight victory is true, but the GSR is very good because uh, G's are justified. So I believe the number three deflection is a must in race 10 with the number five. You want to use the number nine, but the GSR is not good. At Golden Gate Fields, last dance for uh, Golden Gate Fields today. In race number one, the number four, Galan de Besos, topic of Equanesh. Uh, ran last uh, week at Golden Gate Field, but see the difference. He didn't try before the the turf. He's trying today, and the GSR is going up to 63. 
the, the distance shortening to five furlongs, he's going to run very well to, today. Probably he will win the race. In race number three, we have a single a horse that is not delivering the last three times, uh, Sir Grayson. Last time now, he flattened out in the final stretch, very disappointed. But today, Alexander Chavez is back to to the to the to his reins. Uh, Steve Sherman, 33% second race back. Steve Sherman behind Jerry Hollendorfer, the most uh, winning trainer uh, of the group that is a trainer at Golden Gate Fields at, at the moment. It's a quality road. Uh, the number two is going to try to wear the field, but he will weaken at the end. I think her race is going to chase him. And Alexander Chavez is a very skillful rider. I, I believe he's going to win the race. Terry's boy is the second pick. Is the long shot of the system. I was considering to use him, but he's coming back. He has eight months without running. And Tim McCann, he has some uh, effectiveness when he's coming back from the layoff, but I don't know. I, I think Sir Grayson is ready to deliver. So let's take the risk with the number four in race number three. He was the, really disappointed last time out, but today I think he's going to win. In race number four, it's a very, but very equalized race. Use the five, use the number three. Um, this is another pick, sorry. In race number four at Golden Gate Fields, these are the right picks. Five, one, six. Use the five, use the one. But also this number six, cool until that is dropping class. A horse that has a rush, a rally from the back of the back. He has faced better competition. He will be uh, running very strong in the final stretch. So I believe Cool Monty last could upset the race. 10 to 1 in the morning line. Use him in your tickets. Um, in race number five, I believe. No, race number six. This first starter, Frank the Cat, is the second pick of Equanage. The ESR is not too good, but this horse is working very well, but very well. So I believe Victor Trujillo has this horse re re ready to deliver. The number two is a vulnerable horse. So use front the cut with your picks in this race, 1842 in a very tough race, but the number eight is a key horse here. And in the last race of Golden Gate Fields, uh, I believe they're good in the number seven, and especially um, Steve Sherman's, uh, my Jamie Lady, are going to be one to in this race. Uh, the number two has a good opportunity. Uh, Adeli from Philip D'Amato as well. But I think my Jamie Lady will be last at the beginning and will close like a train. Probably the winner, Derrick Gulling, is very good at this distance. And on turf, see the record. So seven, eight, eight, seven in the last race of Golden Gate Field in its last dance today. Good luck today at Gordstreet and Golden.